Hi everybody, it's Francie at Devoted Danes. Uh, just trying to fill you guys in on our week. It's been kind of a busy, crazy week here uh, this week. So I did tell you guys I had a big surprise for you what I do. Um, so we've decided that we're gonna add some girls to our breeding program to our home and we did. So we have two girls that we're adding. Um, we just decided that a lot of our girls are getting older and you know, we just felt like it was a good time um, to do it, so we did. Uh, you only live once, don't live with regrets. You know, if you wanna do something, do it. Um, make a choice, whether it be good or bad. So anyway, <laughs> that being said, so the girls are located down south, as most of our additions usually are, um, where we get them from. We have only gotten Miss Fiona, and she was from Maine, and we did travel to go get her too, but everybody else has been uh, located down south. Uh, and I'm not just talking Connecticut. South, like we've had Arkansas, Louisiana, Ohio, South Carolina, Georgia. We've had a lot of southern states. Um, so normally we ship them up ground or we air flight them home but with the pandemic and everything is so outrageous gases too it's um, virtually impossible to you know to do it that way um, we did start out with just want getting one girl and um, you know we did do the avenues and it was it was just outrageous it was hard to find transportation to come up here so um, my husband has always been looking for a road trip so my husband and my son have decided to take and go down to Alabama that's where the girls are located so they started off Wednesday uh, Wednesday night and they did make some stops along the way there's some things they wanted to do some people they wanted to visit so they made it into a road trip that they've always wanted to do and they had fun with it um, so I have been at home taking care of the homestead because somebody has to be home 24 7 for our gang and that's that's what I've been doing um, so I've been busy just trying to get things done around the house, get prepared for the girls to come, because we did end up getting two. Um, and then just your normal things, like you have to do every week, like mow the grass and weed whack, and you know, clean out the kennels, and take care of the birds. And it's been super hot. Hi, Sylvester. It's been super hot, so I've really made sure my birds are watered down, my turkeys and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so they, are due to be home tomorrow morning they have already picked the girls up and they're on their way home it's a long drive it's like is it 19 hour drive for us we live in new hampshire but um they really liked going down they were able to actually you know we they were excuse me actually able to meet the breeder and i mean i've been chatting with this breeder for a little bit now too uh, sounds like somebody just like myself, maybe a little bit crazy, but loves her dogs. Um, that's me. <laughs> so uh, that's all I look forward for in somebody else. And um, so uh, I've been having videos of the puppies and I'm excited to get them here. Um, right now what I'm doing is I start everybody off on our kennels. Um, I think I'm gonna put these two together just for the beginning just so they feel like they have each other and then they obviously will have their own kennel too so that's what I'm doing today I have um, one of the kennels out from the attic oh Jesus marmalade you scared me <laughs> I have one of them out from the attic and our attic is the attic in our barn so it's dusty I have it out I'm wash hosing it down washing it Sylvester's helping me um, so thank God we have a big driveway I just kind of have it all laid out so these are like all the pieces. Sylvester's using that for water. Marmalade's over. Marmalade keeps catching stuff and they bite in her in the legs. Now she's limping again. My goodness. Um, he's getting a drink. So I have all these lined up uh, up the driveway, but I wanted to make sure they weren't dusty. There's our dog food. We. 
So anyway, I got them all lined up. I got them washed out. Um, I really wanted to scrub them because they were in the attic for for so long. Uh, we haven't used these in a while. Uh, we switched out to like the walkout kennels. So we haven't needed them, but they are in good shape. They just do get dusty. So um, that's all I'm doing is getting it ready for the girls. They come home tomorrow. Um, this cat is crazy. There's water in the barn for him. He just had his birthday too. He's an old man. His birthday, Sylvester, was last week. I meant to ask the vet to verify how, how old he was because I forgot. But he's got to be, I say, 12, 13 years old. And I, <laughs> he's such a good boy. Uh, he, he puts up with those kittens in the barn. Yeah, I'm just getting this stuff ready for when the girls get here so they have a place. And I usually um, put them in the living room just so everybody can get used of the puppies. Everybody will see them. Um, everybody will, you know, get uh, get used to them. I'm sure they're going to be nervous coming, you know, of course, they're being taken from their mom and their home. And um, so I think it's, it's always worked out well for us to put them in the living room and let everybody kind of smell them as they come in and out and get used to them and realize they're now part of the pack. So that's what I'm doing now. It has been a scorcher of a day. I spent most of the day with Nala. Um, we had our vet appointment. And then we had to go and visit my daughter. So Nala came with us. Um, she's a good girl. So then we got home and, you know, just getting everybody fed, everybody in and out. It's been an exhausting day, but I wanted to get this done and get this squared away so then I can get the bedding in and their dishes connected and, and have it so when they get home they can relax because that is a long drive. I'm sure they're going to be exhausted. I'm exhausted just from being in the heat and you know I can't imagine driving that much but they they uh, they've had a long haul but I think they'd have enjoyed it all in all so um, I'll let you know when they get home. At the vet with Nala today just for her regular checkup. She's a little nervous. She hates wearing a head harness too but she's friendly. 130 something pounds. You might have gained some winter weight there, chubby. And then we have some plans for the day. We're out, so we're gonna make the best of it, even though it's a hot day today. Hi, Nolly. Nolly. There you is, pretty girl. She is sweet. Yes, you're a sweet thing. <laughs> it's the AC's on and you're still panting, huh? Silly girl. Yes, she's a panting girl. The floor is nice and cool, but she doesn't want to lay down. Huh. Okay, we're all done at the vets. Now I promised Nala some ice cream at McDonald's, possibly. So we're going to get her some of that. She's a very good girl. She's always a good girl, though. You relaxing? Yeah, I don't blame you. It's nice and cool in there. Good afternoon, everybody. All right. I got a surprise for you kids. Yep. What's better on a hot summer day? What do you think it is, Gary? Gary! That's not nice, Gary. You don't bite your mother. Gary! You lucky? I'm not going to hold it against you. <laughs> All right, so I got them a watermelon because it's 90 something degrees out. And who doesn't like watermelon on a cool day? Raven, what are you doing over there? I just got to get a clean spot to drop it. Well, not clean, but clear of wildebeest because some of it's got to go to the guineas. Watch out, guys. Oh my god, they're. <laughs> Alright Gary, we gotta get half of it open. Get in there Gary. Oh, that's a good watermelon. You better go around or you're gonna miss the watermelon, Lady Jane. Half. Half of it at least. See, watch out. 
Oh, it didn't land the right way. Didn't land. Oh, they like their watermelon. Let me get this label off. Here you go. Oh, there you go. Sorry I got it dirty, guys. Hmm, that's good. Nice. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It looks like the ducks are getting them. I know, the ducks are togging it. Look at those ducks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gary. It's not called for Gary. Actually, those are a bunch of the baby geese, the white ones. This is a uh, peanut though. That was a fast watermelon. <laughs> Go down the wrong tube. Those little geese are enjoying that. Look at them go. That watermelon's just about gone. You better get in there if you want some, girl. Look at those little geese. Oh my gosh, she's drinking it. Oh my goodness. Listen to that slip slop. That's good, huh, girls? Yeah, look at all the water. Watermelon juice. Hi, girl. Get, get them babies out of there. Oh, they're going to eat the rind now, too. Oh, Mama's trying to get on the rind. Well, that was a nice summer treat. Huh. Yeah. Hey, handsome. How's it going, Freddy? You need me to water you down? You look hot. Are you relaxing, little lady? Is it nice and cool in that wood? Yeah. You're so pretty. Yeah. Where's your brothers and sister? Where's your brother and sister, Sian? I'm going to bite to eat. That's three. Where's the rest? There's four. <laughs> and who are we missing? Is you think he was hiding? Are you hiding? Hmm? Hi. Hey, little girl. You don't have to hide from us. No, you don't. You can go eat. Your sisters don't seem to care. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Just relaxing. What are you so happy about, huh? Because you're in the AC. Huh, Chubby? Hi, <laughs> Vion. Hi, Vion. Are you getting ready for dinner? Yeah. You silly beast. You silly bully beast. Ooh. So, the girls have made it home. Right now they're playing. We have brought this out front um, just so they could have a place because we have our big yard for our big guys and we want them to be able to be adjusted here before they start going out there, you know. <laughs> Plus they're little and they are country girls so they like to be outside. Yes, they do. Look at her. So her name is Daisy. My husband picked her name and I love it. Fits her great. She looks like a black eyed Daisy. Yes, you do. And the one in the back is Benson. And we are gonna call her Benny for short. Uh, so Daisy and Benson is what we decided on these two little scoots. They're both girls, they are sisters. And we are aware of sibling thing. We've, I don't really, never had a problem with that. Um, we've sold many siblings. I guess it could be an issue. It has for some, but it hasn't for us. So they are enjoying outside playing. Um, like I said, they're from the south, so they're used to being outside. So we're trying to give them outside time. Our dogs is limited on outside because they get too hot. They're not from the south, but these little nuggets are. So she's a harlequin, obviously. And she is a, basically, almost looks like a split face blue mantle. Would have been a mantle. So she's pretty cute too. We did originally just, um, was just going to get the blue one. 
and then um, you know kind of talked it over and you know uh, we've been talking with the breeder for a bit and uh, we decided to get her too. The breeder was great and gave us lots of information. My husband loved meeting her. Like I said, my husband and my uh, adult son went and picked the girls up and they just got back. So it was about a three day trip for them, which is really phenomenal from New Hampshire to um, Alabama with a few stops in between. Look at her. So they're actually coming out of their shell from the little shyness. So I think Benny is a more outgoing one so far. And Daisy has been more of the follower. So, but we'll see. I'm sure their little personalities will come out as time goes by. But um, we're hoping by having more, more girls in the future that we'll be able to continue with our breeding without a, you know, any setbacks. Uh, you know, you do get setbacks, but this is what we're trying to avoid so they're enjoying a new toy they got some water they do have their inside kennel set up too they don't they won't be staying out here obviously but they do like to be outside so we're trying to accommodate these little scoots so we have got this kennel set up for now for them and we put them in the shade but we are actually already thinking of a bigger outside enclosure for them just for them for now until they get bigger and they can go out with Grizzly, uh, Grizzly and Violet. Everybody has met them, right? No, actually Maggie and them haven't yet. Maggie, but, but everybody loves babies. So they just have to meet Diesel, Mag, and uh, Cheska so far. But they've met everybody else. They met the Golden Girls first. And you know, they always love, love puppies. Ellie's just wondering if they need a mama. But here's our new additions.